Everyone, it is Saturday, June 9th, 2018, and it's time to go to work on music. Um, it's been an excellent day. I'm in a really good place and excited for a productive session as usual. Gonna hit some online classes here to update you guys with what's uh, going on on that front. Going to hit a quick drum practice, share my progress, and then going to dive into the production front and track some bass lines for the new Aeons record. So, let me know if you guys have any thoughts or questions as we go. Otherwise, I'll update you at the end with what I accomplished. Trying to keep, the, keep these intros a little tighter, a little cleaner, a little shorter going forward. So, let me know if you guys have any thoughts about whether you want me to expand on what's going on in the rest of my life or if you like just keeping it tight and focused on the session at hand. So, let's do it. All right, great session overall. Hit the online class front, hit some more art of music production class stuff. Um, and it was more about time-based and pitch-based edi editing on vocals. And the instructor showed a plugin called Revoice, which basically can map uh, a vocal take to a pre-existing vocal take rhythmically and pitch-wise. So if your background vocals are a little loose and you want to tighten them up, you can just pick one of the tracks that you like the best and then have all the other ones sort of dovetail perfectly with that one, which is pretty crazy. So it's just an extension of what he's been talking about the class as far as like pitch and uh, rhythm editing. And yeah, highly recommend the class. It's really well taught and it's free, so can't argue with that. Uh, from there, got in a quick drum practice and just wanted to jump on the actual kit because I did all mental practice yesterday, but my mental practice had a big influence on what I did today, which was pretty interesting. And so I'm going to continue to move forward with that and develop my uh, sort of visualization practice methods to the best of my abilities. And then I got into um, working on the new Aeons record, just tracking a baseline that I've been working on for months now, and I actually got a really good take. And I got it from using some mental visual rehearsal time to um, sort of map out what I wanted to do rhythmically, figure out, make sure that what I wanted musically was translating to what was happening on the fretboard and with my right hand and stuff like that, just getting everything to sync up in my mind before I picked up the instrument. And I picked up the instrument, just did a few takes, and uh, started sort of like humming the baseline to myself in my head as I was doing the take to make sure that I had like a clear vision of just to make sure that my whole being was synced up to what I wanted to play and that I was really zeroing in and focusing on that. And yeah, I got a really good take. Um, my guess is I'll come back in tomorrow, do a couple, or I'm off tomorrow, but come back and do a couple takes on Monday and then, or maybe later tonight, and then just compare with what I have and then just move forward with the song because I think at this point it's like, I think it's it's just like how much better is it realistically going to get without spending way, way more time on it. And that's kind of how I'm feeling today. Maybe I'll have a different attitude when I get in, you know, and do, do the sort of like make it perfect or die kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I'm just reevaluating my whole approach to the Aeon's aesthetic and thinking like, where's the balance between getting stuff done, getting something completed really well, and like, you know, killing myself trying to make it exactly the way it's supposed to be. So that's just something for me to, to be with. And it's, it's part of what I'm doing with the Hazardous Lean and the Aeon's thing, sort of separating those two modes of creative expression. And um, they may sort of bleed over into each other or they may become one thing. I don't know, it's just an experiment right now. And I figure like, let me just try it, let me just do, and let me just kind of focus on the bigger vision and think about what makes the most sense to get from point A to point B. So I'm gonna sit down today and uh, look at my goal journal and map out sort of like where I am to where I wanna be and what the next steps look like. And I think I'm doing pretty well, uh, but there may be some adjustments to make. So that was the whole session. O overall, extremely productive. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Let me know if you have any thoughts or questions. I hope you guys are out there grinding towards your goals, enjoying the process. That's what I'm out here doing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more. Well, I'm off tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you guys on Monday. Can't wait.